Hello everyone to a new series of Minecraft Mod It. Uh, this series uh, we're going to be playing created above and beyond. And um, I was kind of contemplating on what game we should play next. And I thought I'd just stick with Minecraft. This was a pretty interesting mod pack. Thought it was going to be uh, pretty fun to play. And uh, we are going to be ending Skyrim for the time being uh, and replacing it with another game. Uh, so not not going to disclose what the game is yet. We're going to be you're going to be finding out that soon enough. Uh, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you guys get notified when that comes out, uh, as well as new episodes of Create a Above and Beyond, not A and B. <laughs> I have I have that abbreviated. Um, but yeah, we're going to start a new series. I'm super excited about it. So let's jump in. I'm just going to call this C A B. Um, lay through one. Uh, we're going to put it on hard difficulty. I am going to allow cheats, uh, strictly just to fix issues. If absolutely need to, uh, we ran into a few issues last, uh, last playthrough. And uh, I want to just have those available just in case. Um, but for the most part, we're not going to use them if I can help them. Um, yeah, let's get the uh, the game created here. Now, this uh, go around, we're going to be, um, I'm thinking, running episodes around an hour long. Uh, if you don't like that format, uh, please let me know what you guys think. Uh, should I go with like a half an hour uh, format? Uh, I, I just like the kind of the longer gameplay um, because I sit down and I play for like an hour at a time. And so I'd like to, instead of cutting it up to half an hour bits, um, I think a half an hour would be uh, too short, honestly. 45 minutes to an hour is, is kind of like general um, timeline. So cool. All right, we're in here. Um, I did, oh, we got some pumpkins right away. That's kind of good. That means we got some uh, food, right? Yeah, we got some food. We're going to get some seeds. Um, I did hop in here and play this mod pack just a little bit. Um, so I kind of have an idea of some things. Oh my god, what is that? Is that like a pumpkin tree? Where are we, where are we at? <laughs> this is like a big pumpkin block. What in the world? Can I... I really need to get, um, excuse me. Uh, there's nothing in here. I was kind of thinking maybe there's like a chest or something. <laughs> but we're we're definitely gonna take that down. Let's get some uh, some wood. Now I did notice that there's like a little house right here that we might just make that uh, our little base. Hopefully there's nothing in there. Uh, but let's get uh, enough wood here that we can uh, make a crafting bench. Now, this mod pack does have uh, some pretty interesting things uh, in it. Uh, it's going to take a little bit to get started, I think. <clears throat> Look at these little miniature trees. I don't like them. Um, but yeah, the um, I'm, I'm super excited about starting this new series. I think this should be enough. Now, we're going to need to find a place to kind of hide at night uh we're not on an island any longer so and we will look at uh the quest log here just in a little bit here <clears throat> uh one thing i did notice is that this sound effects in the game here are just they're quite good actually um i really really enjoy it so let's just get a couple oh, we're gonna need some sticks uh let's get a couple things here like a shovel pickaxe and oh, we're not going to have enough for everything I need. Let's grab a shovel and a pickaxe. That should be good for right now. Um, is it getting dark out here? No. Oh, actually I should. Uh, we should get an axe. Oops. There we go. Perfect. So I should I should be able to eat these, right? Oh, one's a jack-o'-lantern. 
Oh, I can put that on my head, I think. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's take this down. Uh, let's kind of go explore a little bit. Maybe we can make this our house. Um, so we're gonna need definitely we're gonna need food. Ooh. Cool. Oh, we got some food right away. Uh, lantern, coal, good. Uh, sweet. Let's see what this is. Oh, a little lantern. Um, I'm not going down there. <laughs> not yet, at least. But right, I can make this. Um, I mean, I got bread at least, so we can I can eat that. Okay, let's take the pumpkins out. Can I eat the pumpkins? Well. Do I need to do something with the pumpkins first? Now it makes pumpkin seed. I think I can eat the pumpkins. So, and there's a lot of pumpkins here. That's a jack-o'-lantern. I hear a zombie. Now I do see mushrooms. <clears throat> but I kind of want to just kind of explore a little bit quickly. Uh, while we pick up another jack-o'-lantern. Oh, a carved pumpkin. Oh, interesting. I'm not paying attention to what I'm hitting here. Um, so we need to kind of find a location that's going to be good for setting up base. And we're going to need to get some cobble going. And I, I want a kind of a, a, an area that's going to be kind of flat and clear. Get a wolf. And we do need to be next to water. That's one thing I did learn. So let's uh, take a look at the map here. So we're in a couple of... Oh, we're snow biome here. Let's... Oh, there's a... Oh, you know what? We found our place for the night. <laughs> and hopefully we'll... Oh, you know what? I should have picked up that chest, too. That was a free chest. I think it was it was through here, right? Um, we got really lucky with the village. Um, yeah, super, super lucky here. Let's just head this way. Uh, so the, the first episode is going to be a little bit longer because... It's just going to be a lot of kind of running around, exploring. A lot more pumpkins, too. Sweet. We found a village. Um, hopefully, there's going to be a lot of resources in here. Oh, yes. Iron. Now, that's huge. Um, okay, we need a smithing table for sure. Oh, let's grab an axe. So, we'll grab that. Um... I think, I don't think you can break these. No. So I did find this in my last playthrough, or I shouldn't say playthrough. It was like a quick uh, little play. Um, just kind of just load it up, just see what we're getting into. And uh, yeah, I learned a few things. Uh, bed, perfect. That's why I was so excited when I found this, because this gives us so many resources to get started. And it's going to boost us. I mean, just things are going to be so much faster now. But there's no villagers. Uh, grindstone. I think that's important. Yes. Oh, man. This is better than my first little trial here. Oh, my God. Food. Iron. Gold. I don't know what these, um, obsidian. I don't know what the, um, what was it? The rubber duckies do? I have no clue. Um, but yeah, we should, let's just take this as well. Ice bucket challenge. Uh, so I think we're going to stay here tonight. Oh my goodness. We've got a stone cutter. Not really super important. I mean, that's if we want to start building something nice. There's no villagers here. And we'll take an extra bed. Beds are always good to have. Um, your kitty. Um, well, we really didn't need that. We we could actually set up. Oh, I hear a villager. What is? Oh, there's a villager over there. Hello, villager friend. Huh. Hey, buddy. We're just uh, stealing all your stuff. Don't mind me. Ouch! Ouch! Uh, those are berry plants. I think you get <laughs> heard from those. Uh, let's just do. <clears throat> yeah, we'll set our spawn point there. Just in case we die, we'll come back in here. And there's Gollum. Hey. Man, we're finding so much stuff. Yeah, we need rice. Um, buddy pack, I'm not sure. I'll grab that. 
and potatoes. Oh boy. Here, let's do that if we can. So we can eat the bat wing, but I'm going to leave the bat wing. I don't know. I don't really know if that's really something. And we'll leave a bed. We don't need that many beds. Did that? I thought that golem just like smacked that kitty. <clears throat> I was about to go fight him. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Rice for days. Uh, pumpkin seeds we already have. Uh, cabbage seeds we can add. We can add onions. Uh, we don't have tomato seeds. We have so much. Let's just get rid of the, that. We don't need um, rails right now. At least I don't know if I'm going to be using rails much. Might as well grab these torches. Because we'll need those as well. This is seriously probably soup like soup it lucky that <laughs> we found this village right away uh I, I actually started recording this uh like three times i kept on getting interrupted and so oh my goodness another chest and so i had to start over and over and over again and i'm like i just starting to get a little upset but this works out really good i mean super good all right, do we explore pretty much this whole place? I have a feeling that we didn't go up here, though. Um, one thing that I did notice... Um, okay, so it's back this way. <clears throat> um, is that there's no, like, compass or anything, so... I don't know what direction we're going to be going in. <clears throat> so we came this way, but... Is this north? I'm trying to figure out which direction I'm going. Because <laughs> there's more, more houses to go through. I don't think it was this way. No, it's literally straight this way. Okay. Um, oh, we can break this. Because this will give us coal. Uh, we do need coal. Man, we have no room. All right, we'll take the bed out. We do here. Why don't we convert that all up? We take the coal. I could use the hay bales. Get rid of get rid of the dirt. Um, it's getting dark. Get rid of that dirt. Um, I think if I can find that bed, ah, uh, we just always place down a bed. Well. We have two of them, right? Which one was that? Oh boy, it's getting really dark now. Is there a bed in here? Nope. Villagers, <laughs> where are your beds? I stole them all from you. I think there's one in here. Ouch, ow, 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 ow. Yes. Um, excuse me, sir. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Zombie down here. Now, you gotta be careful here. Stone Golem coming to rescue me. Oh, God. Thank you. We had a carrot on him. So we could check these guys out to see if they have anything to trade with us. Oh, is that a lot of... Horse dirt. Interesting. Now, did we check these houses? I don't think so. These are the ones that we were looking for. Cauldrons. Oh, another. Ooh, we got some armor. Man, this is stupid lucky. Let's just put that in there for the time being. We've got some leather armor on. And what is this? A large fern. We don't care. Holy crap, and this is such a huge village. Huh. Emeralds right away. <laughs> this is just insane. Oh, I don't even have pants. I want to get fully loaded here. And um, we haven't really started <laughs> the pack at all. Well, might as well take advantage when we have the... Uh, to. Oh my, there's a 
broken portal here too. What is this? A fletching table? I'm it's part of Minecraft, so I don't even know what it does. Another chest. Um Flint. An arrow. I think we're I don't think we really need the flint. We can find flint pretty easily. Um actually let's get rid of these. Hey buddy. Um what is this? Trained arrow. Deals more no damage. Oh, it's a training arrow. Used for practicing. Make each shot more difficult. What the heck was that? Was that him? Was he doing something? <clears throat> it was like a knock or something. Oh, that's hot. Hey. Holy cow. Um. Did we get lucky or what? This is not usually my luck at all. Um. Ants? Oh no! Curse of Vanishing. Okay, that's fine. I thought it was uh, something else. <clears throat> and I was like, oh god. So I think Curse of Vanishing means um, it's gone when it's gone. Uh, gold ingots we should probably take. Oh god, what do we drop? I, I need to find like kind of a place that we're going to stay at. Um, I'm kind of half tempted to... We'll leave the sticks behind because we can make more sticks. Uh, we need the onions. We don't need the pants because we got another set of pants. Oh, I need the rice though. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> what do we do? Um, we'll leave the wheat because we can always pick up wheat. Now, this is netherrack. And then that is a magma block. So, yeah place to sleep you know what I'm kind of half tempted just to kind of <laughs> put a, a, a base right here just like find a good place to all right we've already been in here right yeah um and kind of stay nearby here and then we can always just utilize oh sorry buddy who's going to the bathroom I'm thinking <laughs> Yeah, because, like, what is this guy? Dyed leather. Leather worker. Okay, cool. And there was a farmer over here. Come back here. Wheat for emeralds? Okay. Is there anything else? So let's go find a place that we can kind of call ourselves home. Um. Oh yeah, we're already down here. You know what we should do? Let's just call this home. <clears throat> this is our house. Um. We'll expand it. Uh, but we can start putting stuff in here at least. And yeah, we'll um we'll go from there. So let's just start putting stuff in here. Let's set this as our spawn point. We don't need all these things. Um, we have a sword now, which is fantastic. And we have so much iron. It's just mind-blowing. Okay. Um, we need cobblestone. What what pickaxes? Fortune 1. <clears throat> I'm almost half-tempted not to use this thing. Um, and only use it when we find, like say, like diamonds or something. Or any kind of ores. Um, and we can make a cobblestone one. So why don't we grab our wood pickaxe? Oh, no, I don't have one. Let's make a wood pickaxe. And then we'll just use that for when we need it. Um, so what I'm thinking here is that we'll just dig down right here. This will be our, our kind of our cave entrance. And we do need andersite. Now, I'm not sure exactly of all the mods that are in this um, this mod pack, but one thing I do know is the ME systems in here. So that's 
we're very, very familiar with the uh, ME system. <clears throat> but there's a lot of other things that I'm not familiar with. Uh, let's go ahead and craft a cobblestone. No, actually, you know what? <laughs> we have iron, so why don't we create um, an iron pickaxe, right? We're in the age of the iron. Um, <clears throat> what? Why'd you die? <laughs> Um, so we're just going to get a couple of resources here right away, um, and then we're going to get get moving on crafting, and we'll take a look at the craft, uh, the um, quests, get that all figured out, what we're going to do, what we're going to need. Um, we have a huge jump start just by finding this village. It's just it's awesome. Um, finding armor, finding tools, finding iron. Um is a great start. I am so excited. All right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go down now. Uh, da -da -da -da, let's see here. Let's take a look at like iron. So, iron um one thing I did notice is that it does tell you the Y level. So, 1 through 64. Uh, so if we take a look at our, do F3, um, where's it at? Y level is uh, 63. So we can, we're actually pretty low, right? So that's good. We got copper here. We have zinc. That's awesome. I mean, we're, we're on our way. Uh, we do have tinkers. So we'll be getting into tinkers construct as well. Let's just get some cobblestone here while we mine down, and then we'll get ourselves a little bit bigger of a base and kind of expand. <clears throat> um, you know what? Actually, we should probably just make our base right here, even though we have a house there, but we probably could have picked a bigger house, but I didn't. Oh, I, f I think we found a cave. Oh, we found a cave. <laughs> Can we get any more lucky? Granite. Get rid of those. I don't know why I'm making this too wide, but we're making it too wide. Um, we'll use the stone cutting to um, to make stairs. Because <clears throat> I think you can actually get more stairs out of it um, using the stone cutter than just actually crafting it. Am I, am I right about that? Can someone maybe correct me if I'm wrong? And then we'll be able to walk up and down. That's why I'm taking such a big um, cut out of everything. It just makes life easier going up and down. Now, one thing I did notice while I was kind of doing a, a test playthrough is that you can kind of hear. If you if I shut up for a second, the more the deeper you go or in like cavern areas, you'll hear it's like an echo. Can you hear that? We're broken through. Sweet. Awesome. All right, so... What is... Is that emerald? No, that can't be an emerald. Um, it's not what I wanted. And that's not what I wanted. Uh, let's get some regular cobblestone here. Now, we are in hard mode, so we will need to be a little bit careful with getting killed here. Let's light this place up. Okay, so we got some coal there. <clears throat> this is a great start. Iron. Iron in there. Uh, what is that? Is that? I just saw that there was some. Well, oh, that's got to be what it is it's from the gravel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Those kind of like uh, effects there. Nothing up there. Definitely something oh, that opens way up. It's 
sweet. Oh, there's a creeper. I don't think he's seen me. Is there anything over there? No. Creeper. Let's see your peeper. Oh god, I missed. And he blew up. That's fine. I hear that. Oh, lava too. So wheat. Let's just get this lit up good. That's awesome. Let's get some coal. Um, because we're gonna need that for cooking. We are gonna need to get food. Um, that's one thing we're gonna have to get working on. Now, I did look and do a little bit of research beforehand, and I did notice that there's some kind of like trading system in here. So we can buy things with like money, like in-game currency. Now, how do you obtain the in-game currency? I have no idea. I don't know if you can create it. Oh God, oh God, what's going on? <clears throat> Broken stone, that's scary. Holy crap, we're gonna have to be careful. <laughs> that just gave me a heart attack. Oh, if we actually use the fortune one, is this... We get a lot more... I mean, I'd rather get a ton more... That What do we get? Stone pebble? Hmm, interesting. Okay, we I think we have enough. Um, let's go ahead and grab this iron. <clears throat> Nothing? Oh, that did not... W oh, oh, that's diamond. All right, what did I get? Crushed iron ore from Create. Okay, so we don't get just straight up iron. Eh, interesting. Okay. And uh, I was kind of looking at the, the top little identifier up there and it when I had the die or the the what was that pickaxe the uh oh god that's gonna make me fall Ooh. It's so scary I don't even know how far it's like gonna fall yeah I don't even want to go that way <laughs> um <clears throat> what was I saying now I can't remember let's go light this up over here Get this iron. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, buddy. Hello. Hello. There we go. So, I'm guessing... Let's see here. Iron. So... Can we just smelt? No. So, if iron ingots... But how do you make iron ingots? <clears throat> I'm guessing just the iron, right? It would show the recipe here, you'd think. I don't know, we'll give it a shot. But we do have lava, which is cool. Uh, we are going to need lava. At some point in time. Oh my goodness, I gotta be careful there. I just gotta keep, <laughs> keep a track on that dirt. Or that crumbly stuff. Yeah, so once we kind of get um, some resources, get everything, we'll, we'll have a nice little setup spot there. Um, and I think with the villagers, we might be able to um, utilize, you know, like they're going to farm, right? They're going to constantly... We can just go and... Um, they're going to plant and tend for things, right? They're going to just constantly keep things going for us. So this is like perfect location for us to... Oh, God. We're out of... Can I still get that with this? Yes, I can. It just takes a lot longer. Okay, that's enough. Let's... 
let's head top side here. Um, <clears throat> and then we'll take a look at the quests, see what we need to do. This is, is copper ore. Cool. Uh, let's light this up over here. Just so that we're not spawning zombies. Which we... Oh, baby, baby zombie. Oh god. Oh god. Baby zombies scare me the crap out of me. Holy crap, because they're so dang fast. Is that redstone right there? What is that? Randinium ore? What? What did I get here? Zombie heart? Sting? Can I use this? No. Huh. We'll have to come back for that. Sweet. Okay, so we're just going to shut this off. <clears throat> Something like that. And we're going to come up here and take a look at what we got. Kind of build our base out a little bit. Oh, it is night. And there is a skeleton right there. Should we make a run for it? <laughs> Let's do it. It's raining. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nope. Oh. Oh, oh, oh hello, visitor, villager. <laughs> uh, we can't rest because there's things nearby. Um, sticks? Yeah, cool. He's a Fletcher, novice. Um, all right, well, I guess since we can't sleep... Oh, we can sleep. Perfect. Huh. What are you... Good luck out there. <laughs> Um, oh. Gollum, you know, I'm taking him out. And I'm burning, I'm burning. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, that's the other thing too, is we have protection. <laughs> this is, this is just perfect. What are those guys doing? Um, and we have a nice little clean area here. This will just work. Perfectly. Um, let's kind of expand this place, I think. Uh, it won't be huge. Well, it's going to look ugly. Okay. That's just the way it's going to be for the time being. Um, just, just bear with me here. I'm not a builder. I try to make nice things when I can. But right now... We're just going to build a place that we can kind of store things, get storage set up. I didn't want to go underground at all, so <clears throat> this will be our home for the time being. <clears throat> and I'm using up all my cobblestone, but we, we got a bunch over there. Did we go that far? That will be good. And then we'll put a door, like, right here, I think. Oops, I'm, like, placing things all over the place. And I shouldn't be using that, I know. Wow. Um, one thing I did notice is that the there's not a mod for like where it like auto populates your whatever you your you know, whatever you had in your hand. Which I know the last one did. Which was kinda nice. So like run out as I'm building here and I run out of cobblestone, well, it just grabs whatever is available. But, uh-huh. All right. Let's go up here. Finish this off here. Perfect. Now, um, we'll have to make another pickaxe here. I think what we'll do is just do something like this. Okay, and we'll just keep our bed here. He can come in and out of there, and then we'll build another door. We'll put some stairs here. Um, light this up.
It looks ugly. I know. I know. I know. Build a door. Okay. Put the door down here. You can open it and close it. Actually, I want it on the other side. You know. <laughs> Please, there we go. Um, and then one thing I'm gonna do. This just makes life so much easier. It's just instead of having to close the door, um, <clears throat> when you're when you're coming back in, especially leaving. I mean, going in is fine, but you don't because you don't want anything opening it. But um, closing it right when you you go uh, into the building. Yeah. All right. Let's start placing things down here. Uh, let's grab a chest. Actually, let's build a set of stairs real quick. Do I even have enough to build stairs? Yes, I do. Just so we can get in and out. Oh, in the world. There. We can get in and out of here just fine. Sweet. So we got a little bit of protection here. We got a little, little room to play around with. Uh, let's put this out here. Um... I think I'm just going to dump everything. And we'll just pick and choose what we're going to place down. So we got a smithing table. Um, <clears throat> we'll place that there. What else do we have? We already have a bed, which is... Here. Well, we could always place down another bed. Uh, grindstone, that... I'm not sure exactly what the grindstone is. But we'll just place that in the corner there. And then we'll place the stone cutter right here. And then we can, you know, create some stone stuff uh let's grab the coal now the obsidian is really nice because um there is a portal that was broken so we could get to the uh the nether easily if we need to uh let's grab this and we'll place this in here let's just put that there for the time being let's get ourselves a furnace going is there anything else oh should probably get rice started now, you plant, oh, you know what, I need a hoe, I need a hoe, let's see here, um, <clears throat> first of all, I need sticks, okay, um, and I don't have any cobble. Need to have some cobble. Oh boy, we out of cobble. <laughs> um, where's my irons there? <clears throat> One, two, three. There we go. Let's go grab some cobble since I'm out. What is this? Diorite? Skip the diorite for right now. That's right, we used all the cobble for building. That's it's kind of wonder where did I put all that cobble? I like that hollow sound. That is just really cool. That makes the uh kind of things everything kind of pop. Okay, let's do that. And then let's make a hoe. There we go. Let me get some things planted. All right. Rice. Uh, the crop won't survive well outside shallow water. Oh, okay. Bunch of fish in there. Interesting. What happened to my shovel? This will do. Let's do something like this. I don't think I have a bunch.
I'll have nine pieces. Hey, there we go. Okay. So we'll get those started. What about here? That's perfect. And we can do it here and here and there. Perfect. Um, what other seeds that we have that we can kind of get food going? We got wheat seeds here. <clears throat> now there there is a garden. I know we can get right away. Um, we have a ton of pumpkins as well. I haven't tried eating them. I'm sure we could. Let's grab the onions, cabbage, and tomato. Might as well kind of grow a few things here. Okay, that's that. Got some cabbage seeds here. And then we'll throw what was it? tomato seeds. Perfect. And we're missing a spot there, which we get some more wheat seeds. We probably need some wheat. Oh, look at this. We could have put our um uh, stuff in there. These are ferns. Oh, chicken. I got some seeds for you. <laughs> so ferns give you wheat as well. be really nice if we could steal that chicken because that chicken well he hangs around here let's do let's let's actually go over here and then we'll make just around here we'll just plant wheat what do you think perfect um all right it's getting nighttime let's head back in Let's take uh, let's take a look at what we have in here. So we have these buddy packs. I have no idea what those are. Um, pumpkin seeds. Oh, we have potatoes. Is it getting too dark? Plant the potatoes. Let's um, let's try to go to bed. Oh, not it's not time yet. Okay, let's um, let's take a look at our quest while we're here. Um, so it looks like we, we completed a couple things. So welcome, um, limitless potential. This pack is for you. We hope you'll have a good time with it. Uh, a couple of rewards here. Hit the checkbox. Oh, flower pot. Oh, nice. Let's, um, set this up on the windowsill. Oh, that's a uh, horrible, horrible spot for it. Um, excuse me, buddy, but I... I need to just just stand on me just uh, while I sleep, please. All right, cool. Uh, where can we throw this flower plot? Here, we'll put it right there. Sweet. There we go. Feels like home. Ah, oh, that's right. Cool. Um. All right, let's uh, continue looking at our quest log here, so we can kind of get going. So there's remote trading here in factory guide so i'm sure we'll get into the factory guide after we get to the welcome um completely optional uh the questing system helps you with primary uh customation or customization of the mod pack uh trades and progression of tech completing quests is not required to progress through the game okay that's good to know <clears throat> uh numeral uh, numeral one Mod pack description. The sandbox had been turned upside down and ready to in, uh, invent your best create contraptions yet. Or the first, if you are that brave. Well, we haven't, so we're brave. Um, let's hold shift. Perfect dream to get the day started. Motivation and saturation. Interesting. It says team reward, which is kind of cool. Um... About 50 inventions lie between you and the moon. So here you go. This is what we were talking about earlier, uh, the beginning, that we're our, our goal is it to the moon. Uh, thousands of components will flow through the ever-growing sequence of, of your machines, providing the means of exploring the next level of technology. Cool. Let me get a cookie. Um, let's see here. Three, your entire factor will be Put to the test as a final products flow into the data center. Hmm. 
programming the guidance computer of your spaceship. Every step is different. Some may even differ depending on the genera generation seed of your world. Okay. Uh, wheat seeds. Uh, get it? Seeds. World. Um, tired of the grind? Fund the operation with coin provided either from various errands or your chosen professions. So there's professions. Automatically ship products um, or produce from your farms or gather other players to aid you in your mission. Okay, we don't have any other players. We're playing solely here. Uh, then you can create all manner of resources, artifacts, and building blocks from the market, making your life just a little bit easier. Okay, so there's coin. Like I said, there's, there's things we can buy. Quest content overview. The bulletin board provides means to earn currency for trading. There can, uh, uh, here you can complete various errands and buy the professional permit for use in trading mission. Um, the market gives you options to spend your money on various fun and useful items and gadgets. Uh, shipments are the automated way to exchange your coin for resources. Here you can buy import cards and use in trading machine in the trading machine. So there's a trading machine somewhere, or we can build one. Um, the factory guide provides useful information for the path of technology and automation. All challenges to be overcome have been neatly organized into chapters and tasks. It is entirely optional to follow this guide. Okay. The section of metallurgy gives an uh, overview of ways to turn your ore into refined metal. Different paths yield differently. All right. Lifesavers. Brings a spotlight to all those little utilities that can help you overcome the challenges set before you. That's interesting. Off you go. Um, now that you have an idea of what it is, uh, what is new and what's not, settle in and start your journey. Uh, three expense. Three XP or three levels or something like that. We'll we'll hang on to those. Okay, so the bulletin board. Um, so it looks like we can, oh, so we turn things in. So we turn in an Onmus banner and kill three pillagers. And uh, we get 10 coin, plus we get a clear bad omen. And repeatable. So this is a repeatable quest. So we can repeat. So are all these repeatable? Like this one's not repeatable. Ancient life. Uh, but you get 55 coin for that. The rancher, you get that. So some of them are repeatable and some aren't. So like this one's repeatable. Any record. So we'll need to keep an eye on records. Um, the globe. So it looks like we just come in here and submit them. Um, one of each of these, you get 25. Or is it any one of them? We, I thought we have one. We not have a sapling? No, we don't have a sapling. Okay. Let's go back in here. Um, hunt the undead. Okay, so we get, so we have two already. Um, so spider kills, sample collection, landfill drop off. Excess dirt. Okay, so that's 15 gold. So just five types of crush gives us 30. Uh, the bulletin board. The bulletin board provides the means for earning currency for trading. Here you can complete various errands and buy the profession permit for use in the trading machine. All right. Professions. Uh, taking on the profession gives you access to more consistent source of income. The profession card uh, bought here act as a permit. All they do is unlock the uh, respective recipes in the trading machine. You can absolutely have multiple of these. That's cool. So we can have multiple of them. So let's just say we're going to be, um, you know, I, I don't want to sell resources right now. So like farming, would farming be the way? Sell crops, flowers, honey, or more with the farming permit. See, that, that makes a little bit more sense, but it costs 30 silver coins. Yeah, so all these are going to be 30. The market. 
Uh, the market gives you options to spend your money on various or on a variety of fun and useful items and gadgets. Have a look around and, and I'll show you'll find something. All right, cool. So manual exchange from silver to gold. So it's 64 silver to one gold. And then it's, you know, we go back, um, saw everything. Do not use in manual crafting. Unbreakable. Buy this relic and minimize the tool maintenance in an assembly of kinetic and, uh, mechanisms. So a few things we're going to have to learn. Buy this relic and minimize the tool maintenance in assembly of induction mechanisms. Wait, Windows update? <laughs> Buy this relic, minimize the tool maintenance and assembly of calculation. Um, all right, cool. Uh, sleepless, the last resort in case of sundown, beat you to it. So... Oh, so it just basically gives you a bed. So uh, playing with fire, pet owner starter pack. Oh, okay. Um, test of patience, fortress, one up, tone of untying. So cool. So we can buy some things here. Um, shipments. I want to kind of learn about this because this would be something that we're going to be making money on. Um, so shipments. Shipments are... The automated way to exchange coin for resources. Here you can buy import cards. Wait, you can buy import cards for use in the trading machine. Each import card comes with a cost up front. Once that is paid, you can limitlessly buy the respective goods priced at what's stated in the subtitle. Each card, each input import card comes with a, a cost up front. Once the card is once that is paid, you can limitlessly spy. I guess I don't follow. So we can automatically change. What's going on? Did another one of those Yeah, what is up with the <laughs> what is up with the uh the, the squidge is dying? Oh, that shows the growth. Cool. Oh. Our rice is growing. Got a little ways to go. Alright, let's go back inside. Let's continue going through here. Alright, so like say we want to buy scaffolding. Ten gold. So does that give us? import scaffolding so that it seems like this we have to pay the 10 gold and then oh it's two silver per 16 i'm thinking so you kind of have to pay to kind of use the trading i see interesting that's cool um okay overview from the tree puncher from a tree puncher. Welcome to the overview. You can always come back here and catch up on the current position in the progression of the technology. If you look closely, the journey to the moon completes the final step of the way um, of the way on the right side. All right. Preparations. Careful. Before you're ready to embark on the journey of automation, uh, it can help to set up a, up a basic workshop first. Here are some recommendations for your successful start. So it looks like crafting blueprint placed in the wall. It can be used to specific to specify ingredients arranged for easier manual crafting. Each slot represents a recipe. Ah, oh, cool. Okay, so we're gonna have to come back to that. Um, high aspirations. The earliest inventions reveal uh, reveals one resourcefulness with low level equipment. Auto crafting, none. Filtering, not cheap. Item transport. May the belt spaghetti mesh in your favor. <laughs> After hitting the checkbook check mark above, the first chapter of the factory guide will become ex accessible from the quest sidebar. All right, so let's get started on that. So you can see it starts here. Um, we did complete lifesaver. So friend placed a carved pumpkin on a hay bale creates a straw golem who can take care of your crops. <gasps> what? Shut up! All right, it's nighttime. There's two guys in here. Sorry, buddy, I'm going to bed. Um, that's 
awesome. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Let's, um... I'm actually kind of wanting to do that. Where do I, where do I put my straw? Here, straw. And then... Oh, you know what? I put that jack-o'-lantern down, didn't I? I think I put it up here. That's fine. <clears throat> we have to build another shovel. Um, I think I put it right next to the broken. Where was that? It was the broken something or other. Portal, 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 portal. Are these. These are all pumpkins. No, it's a jack-o'-lantern, right? Oh, right here. We have a jack-o'-lantern. Perfect. Sweet. Go this way. Mmm. -hmm. All right, let's just kind of clean this up a little bit. All right, so it says on a hay bale. So how long does this guy last? Um, what do I do now? Oh, I can't eat the pumpkins. I thought you could eat the pumpkins. <laughs> Isn't that what it said? It says a carved pumpkin, not a jack-o'-lantern. Crap. I don't have any carved in there. Nope. Okay. Let's go find that carved pumpkin. Or find a carved pumpkin. Um, p -p pumpkin, for that matter. There might have been one over here. All right, berries. Wow, this tree's got to be right in the way. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. All right. I need to find... Ouch, that's not going to be it where the uh, that portal was. That's <clears throat> oh, right up here. So... I wish I had my bearings here. I have no idea which direction is which. Yeah, we're going the right direction. <clears throat> here we go. Sweet. Oh, no. It's not in here. Hell, crap. <clears throat> Holy wheat. Yes, please. Uh, potatoes. All right, pumpkin. Pumpkin. What is this? Composter? That's mine. All right, so can we make a carved pumpkin? No. No, it doesn't look like it. Shoot. There's ice. Oh, man. All right. Well, I have no idea where I placed it. I put it somewhere. I must have been in one of these, maybe one of these houses when I was kind of going through things. I just, oh, my God, I haven't been in here. Hmm. <clears throat> Really? Really? Look, look at all our pickaxes. You're a weaponsmith. Oh, okay. Um, unbreaking huh? one. That's cool. Um, you're, you're one as well.
think I was already in here. Uh, that's a block of gold. Uh, remember, remind me that is there. Please. <laughs> he just closed the door on himself. <clears throat> oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Let's see, is there anything else in here? <clears throat> Alright, perfect, let's go do this. Really excited. Um... I just gotta remember where my my base is. Is it over this way? It's this side. Yeah, it's right there. Cool. All right. Um. Su sweet. That is so awesome. All right, do I need to give it like a chest or something? Let's put this stuff away. Um, actually, well, that's got mending on it. All right, we we don't need all those pickaxes. Throw our iron in there. We kind of got sidetracked. I'm sorry. Uh, composter, we're going to put down, keep our bread. I don't know what we're going to do with that yet. Um, that meaning the uh, pumpkins. Uh, do we have any more wood? I don't see any wood in there. Oh, I need to go get more wood. Because I cannot make... Uh, I have an axe here. What does my axe have? Oh, Curse of Vanishing. Yeah, yeah the trees kind of degrade really quick, too. That's really nice. I'm just really... That was short-lived. Um, I'm really curious of what that little golem's going to do. Like, is it... Like, how useful is it? Hope it's really useful. So we'll just go set this out there and let's hope that I wonder if it'll take care of the other one as well. So are you gonna start putting things in there? Oh, he's got something. He's got rice. Are you gonna put it in there? Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes. Sweet. Life remaining. Oh, it only lives for so long. All right, cool. Um, I don't know what this compost does. Uh, can we look at that up? Compost. Organic compost. Okay, so it does make No. He even goes in the water. That is awesome. That is so sweet. <laughs> that is insane. All right, cool. I wonder what other little guys you can get. Um, what is this? Yellow autumn saplings. Okay. Um, do 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 do. We need a. I'm just so dumbfounded here. Uh, we need an axe. I need that back. Might as well make one of those. Is that kind of like day and night showing? Yes, it is. Perfect. Um, okay, let's go back to looking at things here. I got sidetracked here. Um, so there's a bunch of other things we'll have to take a look at. Uh, so, okay, high aspirations. Now, this is kind of like the start of our crafting. Uh, chapter one, start. Welcome to the factory guide. These quests are the automate, automation plan for those upcoming assembly lines. Always view them as recommendations on what you should construct a, what you should construct a passive supply for. Okay. A flow graph depicts the connections between the relative recipes and processing or slash processing. Happy engineering. 
speed run. The rigid uh, flow graph of this guide may suggest that items are, aren't accessible until they have been automated. Be reassured that you already have access to, to tools from later ages, such as filtering, though not without a bit of manual effort. Okay. Um, so automatic forest. So that's going to be one thing. So bedrock bounties. Um, catching sediment and underwater garden. I'm guessing we should follow this one first. Building material, fuel and ingredient. A passive supply of lumber would be good first effort. Absolutely. Mechanical saws are a powerful way to achieve this. Saws. A mechanical saw. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look at the mechanical saw. So if we hit, it says hold W to ponder. Whoa, what is going on here? Whoa. What? Oh, that's so cool. The filter slot can be specified. Okay. So you can specify what you want. So otherwise, is it random then? Without a filter. Oh, what did it just say? Interesting. Okay. Now, this isn't really... That's not really processing... <laughs> That's not processing wood automatically, though. That's just... I mean, it's processing it, but it's not getting us wood. Hmm. So, let's... Let's... Well, we'll have it on our list. Let's take a look and see... So, it says log stripper. Uh, upward... Upwards facing a mechanical saw can be processed and harvest logs further process the harvest logs okay so i guess that's kind of a first one gathering andesite manually takes time Hof uh, thankfully bedrock can cause uh lava to form andesite indefinitely at this time it's best to set up drills to break the generated blocks between lava and water since bedrock is uh, blocking the space beneath, you have to find a way of collecting the drops from the um, uh, from other sides. Okay. So we're not going to cross that off yet until we have that done. Sand, a good way to separate or automate uh, sand at this moment is to build strainers. Sediment strainer, 300 uses left, 100 uses 50. So collects general items requiring requires a strainer base. Strainer base, okay. Um, so this tells you, I think, what the outcome is. Sand, white sand, orange sand, clay, or I don't understand what those are. Now this one, oh, this is fishing net. This is a specialized fishing net. Okay. So we, how, how does it take to build this? So we need an andesite machine. So let's put that on the list. And we need a kinetic mechanism. So we need cogwheel, birch log, or just some kind of log. Is it stripped? No, just any. We need andesite alloy. So let's put that on our list. And then we also need a saw. How do we build a saw? Okay. That actually is super simple. So we can do a saw, no problem. Um, we can build a stone saw or an iron saw for that matter because we do have iron. Um, andesite alloy, uh, algal bricks, and andesite it looks like. Alba is alga blend, and that's kelp in clay blocks. So one thing I didn't create yet is... Let's get a couple, whoops. Let's get a couple of these going. 
And I think what I'll do is I'll place them up there. And we'll grab we'll grab this coal. And we'll just put half and half. So when we need uh like uh, actually food, like we're running low on currently. Um <clears throat> Now, pumpkins. We gotta be able to make pumpkins. Something with pumpkins, right? So we can take pumpkin slices and make pumpkins, but why can't I make pumpkin slices? Pumpkin slices make seeds. Hold on. I haven't put them in a crafting good, have I? No, it just makes seeds. So how to make pumpkin... <laughs> how to make s slices? Do I gotta, like, break them differently? No. I have no idea. We'll find out. Pumpkin slices. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Um, we need a cutting board. Can we make a cutting board? You should be able to make a cutting board. We need two sticks. Oops. Alright, so let's can we just place it on top. No, it's not gonna let me. We'll put it there for right now. Um, I think we can eat the pumpkin, right? So if I do that, can I use my sword? Uh, no, you need a knife. Um, knife? How can I make a, just like a flint knife? So just a stick with... Flint. Do we have flint or did I just leave flint? No, I don't have any flint. Yeah, because I didn't I didn't want to bring it because I didn't need it. Okay, we'll um we'll set that aside for right now. Why did I just throw that in there? And uh we'll 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 start working on some other things. Um so we need, I think first and foremost, we need to go get some kelp or seagrass. So let's go see if we can find some kelp or seagrass. <clears throat> let's see how our, how our uh, little helper here is doing. Oh yeah, look at that. You're doing a great job, little helper. Um, hope you're not getting stuck. Are you stuck? Like, should I like pen you in somewhere? Now, I'm guessing that this is gonna be probably like an ocean. Now we'll check the water here. Out onions. Oh, is that? No, it's not the ocean. Um, all right. So we, I know where we're at for sure. So I'll need to um, just make sure we go back. <laughs> what is this reeds? What I was saying, don't forget where we, we came from. That's what I was trying to say. Look at that big pumpkin thing. A lot of cool little birds here. Um, we're definitely going to need to find water somehow to make... And if we, we get it, we're going to need to grow some for sure. Nothing in here. Okay, so... Kind of a... Oh, here we go. I think we're good here. We're gonna need food as well. Is that like a pike? Was that it? No. All seagrass. I'm not getting any of it. Do I need to harvest it differently? Or is it just kind of a chance? Do I hear a zombie? I do. Why am I not getting anything? A gar. 
Um, let me go back here and take a look. Was it? Seriously, it was seagrass, right? Yeah, seagrass. Was this not seagrass? Yeah, tall seagrass. All right, so how do we harvest the seagrass? Um, interesting, because, uh, is it just a bare hand, maybe? Nope. I wonder if we need some shears. Let's go get some shears. Look at our garden. It's doing so great. I think the problem is he... That, that dude is getting stuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing your work here, buddy. Uh, tomato seeds. Cool. Throw those in there. And, um... Hmm. We, we are going to need food, though. Real, real quick. So let's put this gar in here. Can I... No cook? Do I just eat? Raw fish? Interesting. Oh, I'm I gotta make shoes. Um Shears. Okay, right, so it's just two iron ingots. Man, are we lucky or what to find that? We're gonna be using these up pretty quick though. Alright, let's go see if this will get us what we need. It's getting dark. Make this quick. Actually, you know what? I should really wait, but... It's just right around the corner. There we go. That's what we need. We'll run back quick. We'll, uh, we'll plant this over here. I couldn't remember if it was specific. I just break... Yes, I did. That's alright. We'll go to sleep. Get out of there. My bed. You go find your own bed. <laughs> I should really go put down a bed so I don't have to fight him every time. Uh, we'll here. We'll 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 have the purple bed. We'll put it right there. There. Now we have to fight over it. All right, seagrass. Let's go and set that up. So we're getting more of it. We'll go grab some more as well. Um, let's do it. Kind of deep. Can we do it in sand? Yes, we can. So let's go grab some more. Um, because I'm guessing we're going to need quite a few of it at the very beginning, it looks like. Because we're going to need it for those ingots. And if I wasn't so dumb and destroyed so many, uh, we're also going to need clay. Um, we would have a lot more. Uh, there's quite a few here. I just gotta remember we don't have um, a magnet, so I'm not gonna automatically grab. We're gonna have to make sure that we grab it. Like, see, right here. I'm missing some. It's weird that you can swim really fast underwater, but uh, above water, you're like slower than molasses. Let's grab these. Uh, I didn't pick that up, did I? Nope. Some air. What was that noise? Did you hear that? It was kind of freaky. It was like... Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I don't have a shovel with me, so I need to get a shovel. So we can get some clay. Yeah, let's see if we can eat this gar. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would not eat that raw. What we got over here? Do we got potatoes yet? Nope. Shears. 
shovel, shovel. Um, we'll use one iron for that for sure. Uh, let's put that away for the time being. We don't need it. I'm thinking of actually getting rid of that door completely. All right, is this clay? That's sand. Let's go to where we found the clay. Was this? This is the that's sand. Where did we find the clay at? That clay? No. I don't remember now. It's all sand. Is that? That looks like clay to me. Yep. Oh, stick her head in here. We'll grab some sand while we're at it. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Get out. All right. I think it's limestone. That's limestone. All right. I think that should be enough to kind of get started. I hope. So let's, uh, let's head back home. Oh, we need to plant our seagrass. Duh. Let's go plant our seagrass. I think we only planted a couple of them. So let's let's get these ones going. I'm like my last bread. But we do have a bunch of farms around here that we can go and steal food from, so not a bad idea. We go, where What are you doing up there, buddy? I should probably have locked him up. <laughs> like, hey, this is ready. He's a slacker. Oh, seagrass. Jeez. Lose my mind here. Just plant this all over the place. Alright, that's enough. We gotta keep some of it. Seven's probably not enough, but well. All right, let's see about creating some of this. We need andesite. Do we have andesite? Yeah, andesite cobblestone. Ooh, task completed. So let's go ahead and, oh, first of all, we need to make some of this. Cool, we can make 12 of them. That's a good start, at least. Now we'll just let that roll. Um, we should probably go see if we can find some... some food here. Be nice if they had cows, because... and we just end them up and breed them and... Where, where, oh where. Is that a jack-o'-lantern or is that carved? That's a jack-o'-lantern. I don't remember where the garden's at. <laughs> um... huh. You got a balcony up there, buddy. That's pretty nice. Yeah, you like, you, you like the compliment. Garden. Ouch. Is there anything? There's a fish in there. Oh, here. Um, you just pumpkins? I don't even know how to eat pumpkins, so don't... Throw something else. Um, garden's over here. Nope. Uh, can I eat these berries, maybe? Here. Yes, I can. Uh, I don't have my bone on me. I could go get a dog. 
Ouch, ow, 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 ow. Here we go. Take some of that. Potatoes. Potatoes. Cool. Nothing else here. Uh, we will at some point need to go and do a little bit of exploring. I think. Because I think if we can find some more iron, it would be very helpful. Why is your bell right there? Like, you have to jump in the middle here to ring the door, or ring your alarm bell. It's not very efficient. Okay. We got a little bit of food. Not very much, actually. Uh, good, this is done. We got 12 blocks. And so we can create some of this now. One thing I wish... Oops. That this would do is automatically grab from here. And it doesn't. All right, so we got our... We got 12 alloy. Perfect. Okay, what do we need to build first? So these kinetic andersite machines um a kelp is virtual ingredient for our first assembly line target and a site alloy kelp can be gathered automatically with mechanical harvesters okay we want to do that mechanical harvesters all right we're definitely building one of these because we're gonna need a bunch of this <clears throat> what in the... What? That's insane. Inventory attached to the... Um, I didn't see what it said, but... Okay. So it automatically picks it up if you have some kind of... Identify? What does that mean? Oh, okay. Linear chassis. Mechanical bearing. Mechanical harvester. Subject of the scene. Okay, so if we hit W on a linear chassis. Linear chassis connect to identical uh, chassis blocks next to them. Um, when one moves by the... Uh, contraption, the other blah, 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 blah. Chassis of different type facing different directions will not attach. Okay, so this is a different type then? Something along that lines? I really like that whole holding thing down. Okay, so on a stone cutter, we can take an andesite machine and make two harvesters. Okay, so there was a bunch of things to this <laughs> that we need to build. Oh no, a block? No, it's a stone cutter. So how do we make one of these? So we need a saw. We need some cog wheels. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to need to go cut some trees down. Let's... uh. We're gonna be sleeping here soon. Seagrass, potatoes, we'll keep the potatoes on us. We don't need that any longer. Oh no, I got I got enough wood. Are you going in my bed? You can go in my bed. They're both sleeping. That's my bed, buddy. Okay. Okay. Um, let's build a saw first. So I think it was a couple of these stone rods, right? Uh, three stone rods. And then there was a piece of iron. Oops. 
And two sticks. Let's um let's make some buttons right away. Okay, let's we can make a saw now. Cool. So we make that we can take that off our list. Now mechanical saw, I I don't really think we need to build one of those right now. Um is there any way of processing our ores? That's gonna be one of our biggest things. So let's take a look at metallurgy. Um uh, Build a processing, a simple overview of most options to process your way from ore to ingot. This is very important for us. Uh, for every path through this craft, the efficient, the effective yield per ore can est estimate it by multiply the ratio of each, including step. Okay. Uh, so mining tool one to one. Um, and then we have fortune, which is one to one to two so that you get, you know, an extra little extra. Um, and then we go to crushed. Um, okay, so now we get, okay, so we mine things and then we go to, we get a crushed whatever. So you get one to two or one, yeah, one to two with fortune or just one to one for mining tools. Fine. That's how we have to do it. Um, the next thing would be to smelt, which is one to three. That's not what I wanted to do. One to three. Um, induction smelter is nine, one to nine to 27. So there's induction smelter is actually pretty decent. Um, uh, milling is one to three crushing is one to three to six and pulverizing is one to six. So pulverizing would be kind of like early game, I think to get into, but let's, um, smelting and milling are kind of the same, aren't they? Let's just take a look at like iron, crushed iron. So milling, we put iron in for the iron ore. You get one iron back. Okay, so smelting, you get three iron ingots. If you run it through the induction, you get nine iron. So this is actually technically, technically one iron. Okay. Um, crushing, you get six, no, three plus three potential. Uh, bulk blasting, you take one and make it three. That's interesting. I have no idea what that is. Uh, milling, you get three. So crushing, sorry, and then this is milling. Um, redstone furnace, that's three. Trading station, so 16 only it will give you eight coin. And then pulverizing is kind of like the best way of doing it. So iron dust looks like it makes one ingot. So, or not one ingot, one um, iron nugget. And it takes nine iron nuggets, right? Yes. So... <laughs> I don't know how many clumps we get per, we have 16 total. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to make some of this iron. Um, let's figure this out. So let's try doing some milling. So let's take a look at the milling machine. Milling, so let's put that on our list. Let's hold down W, let's take a look at it. Millstone process item by grinding them. Can be powered but on the side using cogwheels. Okay, so we need some kind of cogwheel. Looks like insert the item at the top. After some of the items, click on the. Okay, we can do that. And then we can automate this process by having an output coming out to extract it. That's cool. Um, let's do it. Let's build this. What do we need? So we need a cog wheel, and then we have the andesite, and then I'm guessing just some kind of stone. Yeah, some kind of stone. So like cobblestone would work. Uh, do we not? Oh, I didn't put the andesite away tonight. 
So we need one of these. Well, it's going to give us eight. Um, grab some cobble. Or not, that's diorite. Cobble. And that should... No, we need stone. That's going to give us stone, right? I think. So we can make windmills. Yes, we can make stone this way. Okay, let's go ahead and build this. And then we will set this up out here somewhere. So let's just set it up right there. Now, we need some kind of cogwheel to run it. Oh, it... Oh my god, it show holy crap, that is cool. Okay, so we probably need some kind of crank. Let's uh crank. Yes, hand crank. So we need a shaft. And we should be able to make a hand crank. Cool. Sweet. So I'm guessing it goes here. All right. So we turn this. Can we put it on top? I'd rather have it on top if we can. Yes, I can. Sweet. Oh, it has to be on top. Awesome. So how do I place this stuff in? I can't right click it. All right. I'm able to throw it in. Hey, look at that. Sweet. Now, I wonder if we can actually process this even further so we can make more stuff. Now, I'm not sure how long we're supposed to hold this. I'm guessing until the uh, kind of the effects kind of go away. But we're definitely going to have to figure out some way of automating this because this is draining our hunger quite quickly. <laughs> So we built our first machine, <laughs> as rudimentary as it is, but this is this is actually awesome. The only thing is it's... Okay, oh, the noise stops. Okay, we got it. 48 dust. So can we take the dust? Iron dust? Can we use that to... So we can smelt it. Um, so if we go through bulk washing, then that actually gives us two. Um, if we smelt it, that gives us three ingots. Actually, this is the way to go. Can we, can we easily make... Okay, let's uh, get rid of some of this stuff. I hold on, we don't need that. We need this. Grout, sand, gravel, and clay. We can do that. Uh, we need some food though. <laughs> what about this? Oh, that gives you haste. Interesting. Um, what about the cookie? Where's that cookie at? Here we go. Oh, that doesn't really give you much for food. Um, all right, we have wheat. Does uh, wheat, 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 wheat. Wheat and honey, wheat and cocoa beans makes cookies. We don't have milk, so we can't make cake. Um, sweet berry cookies. We can make bread. Wheat dough. Hold on, hold on. We gotta take a look at the wheat dough. So, hold on. That makes, instead of three, that makes, okay, so we need a bucket. Oh god, what's a bucket cost? 
just a normal bucket. Do we have three iron? We do. We're gonna we're gonna be making more iron, so but a bucket lasts forever. So, um, I think this would be a great investment. So we can come in here, uh, let's grab the wheat. And then we could throw that in here. No, that's my bed. <laughs> awesome. Now let's go grab some more water. Excuse me. Excuse me. And let's make some more make some more dough. Yeah, that is definitely definitely the way to go. Why can't I get through there? Sweet. All right. So we just made a bunch of bread. So we'll have food now to uh, crank things. Now, we have to go and get... Uh, it was gravel. How are we doing out here? We're doing pretty good. We're doing a de decent job. Um, you're a little behind, but better than what I'd be doing. Um, that's not growing so much. We need sand, gravel, and clay. So we have clay at home. Here's the gravel. I didn't want to go underwater, but I'm not sure how much we're going to need, so I'm going to grab quite a few. Uh, one thing that I is not in here is um, vein mining. Oh, I need I need air. So there's no vein mining in this, so that kind of sucks. But uh, there is tinkers, and tinkers do have uh, mallets that do have like a, a different like area effect. So we'll have to get into tinkers pretty soon. And the smelter is one which way of getting into it, so. Hey, look at that zinc. No, come back here. Don't 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 run away from me. Alright, I think we should Probably go... Now oh, we'll take some more sand. We should probably keep an eye out for... Play. I'm not sure exactly. We don't have a ton of it. Yeah, we got our clay last time there. Oh, we got some more here. Not a whole lot. Come back. No, that wasn't much. Come on. Um, is that clay or is that? That's no, that's clay. No. Was there a way to make clay? I don't think so. I think you had to go harvest it. Okay, um, we have we have plenty of clay. What about gravel? I think we're going to need some more gravel. And s might as well grab some more sand, too. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. But I did. All right, Now, like I said, this episode is going to be longer um, just because it's the first one. Uh, we're going to probably stick around an hour long, uh, but we're just going to do it a little bit longer. Oh, we got some snowballs. Shall we... Just to kind of get things going, get things started up. Um, 
we just got super lucky. Uh, I thought it was going to take a lot longer to get where we're at currently, uh, but we were just super lucky with finding this um, this village right here. And was this? Oh yeah, this was um, the other side of the village. Cool. No one's no one's doing any gardening down here after I stole everything. It's just this is just perfect perfect location let's go back and get our stuff done that composter i'm kind of curious what we put in there we'll have to figure that out like do we put leaves in there and then just give us the you know like organic matter potatoes are almost done sweet Okay, so uh, we can probably put snowballs away because we don't need that. Um, so we do need to make grout. Let's see here. That. That. And where is our gravel? Let's just make a bunch of it. And then we'll throw these in here. Right? And that'll make seared bricks? Yes. Um, so we need, what else do we need? Uh, let's take a look at seared. Now I know we need something to heat it up. We need the seared he heater. That's what we need. Uh, nope. That's what we have. Seed here, uh, heater. Perfect. Um, and then also we need a shoot. Uh, we need a casting table and a shoot. Oh, you know what? I need that gold. I just remembered we're going to need a, a cast of some sort. Is it this way? No, it was... Shoot, I never remember. I think it's this way. Yeah, it's this way. Ouch. Gimme, 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 gimme. Um. Uh, no pickaxe. Hey, there we go. Sweet. Uh, that's gonna give us nine blocks. We're over here, right? Yeah. I'm starting to remember where we're where we need to go. Um, and I think we just need one ingot to, or no, two, one ingot. To make a cast. So, and this is kind of the, the start into tinkers. So let's get those. Perfect. Um, we'll first build our tank. We need glass. Do, do, do. We'll grab that out. We don't need any more of that. So sand. We'll get some glass going. Um, might as well craft everything else up. So we got that. Uh, let's grab the table. And then grab a chute. Actually, it's going to make two of them for us. And let's set that up. Let's set it up right here. Oops. We'll do that and that. And then whenever we're ready here, we'll... I think we need one more glass. Perfect. And... We can we can make this now. We can make the oh. Can I get four glass? Yeah, I have four glass. What's missing items? I don't understand. Was it like a different? Seared fuel gauge. Oh, it's, um... Oh, I need five. Durr. Durr. And then I need some kind of fuel source, which I'll just use uh, coal. Cool. That will make that up. And... Oh, dang it. 
short. Where's my grout? Grout, 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 grout. Two. I only have two, really? Do I need to make more? Does that make only one? <clears throat> yes, it does. Now, how many do I need? I think I need... I need three more, so I need to make another grout. There we go. So once it's done, we can basically get into tinkers, technically. So we can... Well, this is going to be our smelting. We're going to get our ingots, but uh, we could technically get going with that. So we need this. Sweet. Throw that there. Throw that there. We're, we're used to this for sure. Uh, let's throw that in there. Let's, uh, let's just grab half of you just so that we can get some heat. I think... No fuel found. Oh... Do we need lava? Um, it looks like coal. Is it not? Does it need charcoal? All right, let's just try putting those in there. Oh yeah, it's working. Weird. Um. Okay, so I need to get um, ingots because I want to try... All right, let's see here. We need... Need one of these. Place that down. And then I need to... I'm going to slowly put these in here because I'm not sure how many we need and I don't want to use too much. Um, we just need to make a mold. And so this will be reusable for sure. Not enough space. Oh. Wait, how is it not enough space? Shoot. This burned up like all our coal. It says not enough space. Okay, we... What if I break this? Much as I don't want to do this. I don't I don't know if it retains it or not. No, it does not. Okay. So let's throw that in there. Throw our coal there. And then throw this there. Okay, perfect. Does gold take up more room or something? Hmm. <clears throat> I think that's enough. Perfect. All right, so now we can just hopper that stuff in there uh, once we have enough iron, of course. Um, <clears throat> and then we can just pop that in there. And there we go. We got our first iron ingot. So it's three to one. Um, that's two. Yep, it's three to one, which is huge because... That's a ton of ingots. We're, we're, let's see here. We're making three per one. So for every one, we're making three. So yeah, yeah. We, so we're, we're making quite a few ingots. We got six ingots now. We're good on ingots now. Ooh. Um, do we have, we have redstone, right? We picked up some redstone. Yeah, it was up in here. Oh, we did. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and make a redstone torch. Because if you remember... Oh, if you remember in the last series, we just took a redstone torch. And as long as it's put right above... Let's place that... No. Actually, that would have been fine there. You place it right above here. This will automatically pour out. So we need a couple hoppers. And we will have hoppers here soon. And then we can just auto feed this and then have this hopper out. I think we're gonna have to have the hopper underground here for this though, unfortunately. Um, unless we kind of set this up one. 
but whatever works, right? Um, let's uh, let's build a hopper real quick, or let's build two hoppers. I think it's just a regular with a chest in the center, right? Yeah, so we just need to build a chest. Cool. Um, get rid of that for right now. There we go. And then we can just feed that into there. Uh, we do need some light in here, though. Hey. It's my bed. <laughs> he don't, he's not very happy about it, but who cares? Um, so that should continue hoppering in. It's not. Are you not? Do I need to come in from the back? Or the front? Or the side? I don't want to put it underneath this. I guess we can move that. Maybe it needs to come in from the side. Let's do this. Yep, that's what it needs. Um, all right, so we need to make another hopper. Uh, so we need some more wood. We have enough wood? Let's start. Yeah, we have birch. Birch. And we should probably make another chest as well. So let's grab two of these. Grab a hopper. We don't have enough iron, so we'll need iron here. And, uh, well, yeah, we're good. Now we just need to go and mine some more, right? <laughs> so I think that's what we're going to do in the next episode. Uh, this is this is such an amazing start to this series. Um, it's just it's awesome that we found this village. And um, we got so much resources right away. It, I think this would have been take a lot longer if we just didn't. Um, end up right here where we're supposed to be. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, we're definitely going to need to build a bigger area for more storage because until we get the ME system, we're going to run out of storage really fast. Um, let's put our gold. We should put our gold away. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, hopper. Hopper, 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 hopper. Can we build a hopper? We have enough. And I think how this is going to work is we're going to have to go like something like this. So this goes down there and then like this. My dirt. Okay. So now this will be fully automated. As long as we have um, any kind of item, I, I don't know if we have any other kind of ores, do we? No. No. Not that I see here. That we'll be able to auto process them. Oh, we have a gold. We have some gold in here. Oh, gold nuggets. So we we would have had enough to make, regardless. Uh, golden apple. Cool. I guess I'll put that in there for the time being. Now we should put the shaft in the other one. Cool. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm super excited about this episode or these, uh, the series. Um, make sure you guys like the video, share this on social media, get people, you know, on, uh, coming to the channel, supporting me. I'd really, really appreciate it. Uh, it's not so much me, it's supporting the community. Um, we're putting out great content, um, gathering people of, you know, that, that like uh, like videos, uh, we're just having a good time. That's that's really what I want to kind of do is just build a great community of of great individuals and um, have some fun, have some fun and and share some experiences. So uh, I appreciate you all. You guys all have a great night, a great evening, great morning, great day, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.